In this video, we're going to show you how we create 30 blogs every single month for roofing contractors on autopilot using AI without actually writing anything. Let me show you an example. So here's an example article that we that was just whipped up for this presentation. And this was completely written automatically. We did not do any of this. This was also posted on our Facebook page as well as our Instagram account automatically. Now, for those of you who do not know us, my name is Taha and I run All Might, which is a software company that helps roofing contractors and contractors in general integrate AI into their systems to boost productivity, decrease expenses, and at the end of the day, increase their bottom line. And we're going to go through the entire build, so stick around, and if you have any questions, let, we'll let us know, and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. We're going to be using a couple different tools to actually go ahead and create the system. The first one, which is going to help us connect all these different apps together, is going to be Make. We're going to be spending a majority of our time. The database where we're going to be storing all this information is going to be on a software called Airtable. You might be familiar with it. And at the end, our web designer, our, where we're going to go ahead and publish all these articles, is going to be Webflow. I think the best place to start to highlight how powerful the system can be is to show you the entire overview from having a blank database to having a fully published articles in just a few clicks. Now we're on Airtable and as you can see, the database is completely empty. Let's say I want to write an article about giving one of the few categories that I've got here. Let's say careers in roofing. I'm going to go on the status column and tell it to generate me an idea for this specific category. Now, this might take a few seconds as it's doing its magic in the background, and I'll show you exactly what's going on after this. So for the idea it gave me, this is the idea description we've got. From installations, repairs, maintenance, explore diverse career opportunities in the roofing industry and discover how you can build a successful and fulfilling career in this essential trade. Okay, sure. Let's see what's gonna come up with. So now from this idea description, it's been told to generate a full blog post automatically. And this can take a few seconds, usually around 30 to 45, but we'll be right back as soon as it's good to go. And just like that, we're back. So the title that we've got here, it's Unlock Your Potential Thrive in Diverse World of Roofing. The blog content itself is from installation to roofing, diverse careers in the roofing industry. Interesting. So it's just a blog about the different types of roofing jobs that are possible within this field conclusion and seems pretty straightforward. Now we have this entire blog generated. What we're going to go do now is say, okay, well, you know what? I approve this. This one's fine. Put it in here and then let me give it a date. I want to publish it today. I'm going to go in schedule and then there's a, blog, a little bit more automation in the background. It went from schedule to publish. Now, if I go check our Webflow page, we now have a fully published article. Now, don't mind too much the design. This is really just for example, as well as a picture. But just from that example, you can see just how powerful this is. This was in less than two minutes when you're doing it manually. You can have an entirely written SEO enabled or SEO optimized, sorry, blog. Now we know that this works, how do we actually go about building it? Before we get started, just wanna give a huge shout out to Greg from Automated Business, who a lot of the work here was based off of what he did, and I'll post that video somewhere in the description below. But here's a A to Z, how you can build this yourself, quick little guide. The first thing you wanna go do is create a new base on your air table, and here are the fields you're gonna have to make. Call the first one blog title, and this is just a simple singular line column. Second one is gonna be publish, and you're gonna to to create all of these fields in this publish. During an idea, the idea generate full blog post, blog post generated, approved, scheduled, published, edit, regenerate image, as well as update. Third one is categories, and this is where the deviation might come from our end and yours, depending on what you're using the system for, but you can go ahead and create as many categories as you'd like. For us, we put maintenance, careers, and roofing materials, as well as how to find a good roofing company. The hero image, which is just an attachment, as well as any notes that you would like. The idea description, the blog content, editing notes, slug, SEO summary, publishing date, as well as Webflow ID and link to page. And we're going to go through the entire process, starting from Airtable. We're then going to jump over to Make, which connects Airtable to Webflow in this case. And lastly, we'll go into Webflow and just sort of look around and see what we can change on that aspect. 
the first automation that you're going to make after you've created all of these is the very simple one, which is going to simply be sending this to make an open AI. So for this case, we have a, a automation that says in this table, I want you to trigger whenever the status. So earlier you can choose the, all, all of these fields. If you want to choose the one that's a status is any of the above or any of the ones that are coming over, which is during idea, during full blog post, edit and regenerate images. Now, what this simply means is that whenever one of these status has been chosen, it's going to run a very simple script, which says this, you can go ahead and copy and paste it for your specific use case. The only thing you're going to have to change is going to be the webhook right here, which is going to be specific to each individual or to each company. You're going to want to create a input variable for the name record ID, which is what we're pushing over when the trigger has been triggered. You need to create this as this is, it will not work unless you create this record ID. After that, the second automation you're going to create is the publish one. So this is create, this is anything to do with during ideas, titles, blog content, images, that's automation number one. Automation number two is going to be sending it to make and Webflow in order to publish. And now the difference here is the trigger is going to be whenever a record enters a specific view. For us, it's going to be a view that's called to be published. Now, when do triggers or when do records go into the to be published section? I'll show you right here. It's on the filtered, uh, you're going to create a new filter, call it whenever the publishing date is on or before today, which means that anything that has to be published today or before today, and the status of it is scheduled, that's when you go into the publish. That's when it goes into the publish grid. This should always be empty. If there is a record here, that means that your system is not working correctly. The reason for that is because you were telling it anytime a record has been published, I want you to run a, very, a script, and that script is right here. Same as before, the exact same thing. The only thing that would change in your case would be the webhook. And you can go ahead and create multiple sort of stages or be able to visually represent them. But the the, the main com core components of the Airtable are the ones I just showed you. Now let's jump into the make aspect of it. And I'm going to change something as for this presentation's sake. But if you remember before, Whenever I would press on generate idea, not only would it make an idea, but it would also generate full blog post. That's simply because in one of the automations right here, I just told it, hey, whenever the status is idea, and this status is updated to idea, whenever generate idea has finished running, I want you to just switch it over to generate full blog post, which triggers the second automation. But I'm going to turn this off just for to be able to show you what it looks like if you were to sort of separate things and do it manually. So we're going to come here and let's choose a category. Let's call it maintenance. The idea, let's call it generate idea. Now what this is doing is this is triggering automation number one. And that automation is the blog creator automation. What it's doing is it's catching this webhook and you're going to want to create a new one. Call it whatever you'd like, but call it something that you will remember and that it will be clear what it is that it does. Copy the address to the clipboard. Go back in your automations and then post or take whatever trigger that is and put it right here. Once that's done, you want to create a new module called Airtable and you're just going to retrieve the record ID. That's it. This is why it's important to specify the record ID here because this will not work and this will not be pushed and it will not know what to get if that is not specified. Afterwards, create a router and you can just take this from the flow control right below here and you want to create four different routes. First one is going to be generate a blog post. And all this says it's if I want you to check whether this, what the status says, and there's four different statuses that are, um, that apply here. First one is generate full blog post. Second one is going to be generate idea. And I do contains just because to avoid any issues with white space or just to catch most errors that usually happen, I usually try to put it as contains, and you can even put it as contains case insensitive to make it even more robust. Third one is going to be edit, which as you might have guessed is just if the status is edit, I want you to activate this one. And last but not least, regenerate images if status contains regenerate images. Let's go through them one by one. Now, whenever I went through the generate idea section, what it did was it, uh, you're going to want to create a new module called OpenAI. 
use your chat, whatever chat GPT model you want to use. And we're telling it very simply uh, as a context, acts as an expert copywriter for a roofing company with decades of experience in writing engaging blogs. I want you to generate an idea for a blog in this category. And then you want to go ahead and insert the category that you got from Airtable, which in this case was careers and roofing. It should be a maximum of two sentences long. Right after that, what you're telling it is, well, I want you to update that record I did, I just gave you. I want you to update it with the idea description of whatever we just got from OpenAI. And lastly, you're going to want to update the status to idea, which is what's going to make the idea status say idea. Okay, that's great. Now we have an idea. And it says, top five roof maintenance since every homeowner should know. Explore the essential roof maintenance practices that can prolong the lifespan of your roof and protect your home from costly damage, from regular inspections to gutter cleaning and more. That is the idea for this blog. Once you've got the idea, once you're happy with the idea, because if you aren't, you can just re you can just put this back at general idea and it will update all of this. But you're happy with the idea, what do you do now? Well, now I want an entire blog post just uh, based off of this idea. You're gonna put in generate blog, full blog post and similar to what we did before, the animation is gonna trigger again. This time, however, the status is gonna say generate full blog post. So here's what's gonna happen. First one, the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna tell it to create a full blog post. And now we're using 3.5 turbo as I don't have access or Meg doesn't have access to four just yet. But similar as before, all we're telling it is give it a bit of a context and then give it, giving it instructions. First one is as an expert copywriter for a roofing company with a decade of experience in, guiding, in writing engaging blogs. And you use markdown to format the text, which gives us those nice headlines and make just more pretty to look at. All we're telling it to do is to generate a $500 word blog post about whatever idea description was given prior. So you see how it's sort of connecting all of it where you don't have to do anything and it just sort of does itself on autopilot. So the second thing that it does actually is going to be to write a title. You're telling it, look, you've got a blog post. I want you to write a title based off of whatever that blog post says. Third of all, I want you to create an SEO summary of that just to sort of boost your SEO. It helps with ranking on Google. And last but not least, I want you to generate an image based off of whatever the content was. Now, once you've gone ahead and created your blog, right, you've written your title, you've written the SEO summary as well as you generated images, all you're going to want to go or all you're telling make is to update the Airtable with the information that you just got. And that should then make your Airtable look something like this. I'm going to make this a bit bigger just so we can see it better. But you've got your blog title, you've got the blog post generated, the category, your hero image. And this is the reason why we include that regenerate image things, because a lot of the times you will get images that are just basically gibberish. So what you can simply do is, and now you can put regenerate images. Now, after you've gone ahead and dealt with the image problem, if you're happy with the blog content, if you aren't, you can go ahead and put in your edit notes and write in whatever you'd like. And all it's going to do is reactivate this webhook, put in the router. And then what you're telling it is the instruction is simply, but the model can be text DaVinci edit 1001. Instruction is whatever editing notes you put in the air table, the input is going to be what the blog content was taken from the air table again. And you can go mess around with the temperature to make sure of how or to change how creative it is with its answers. But that should fix most problems. And then you're telling it to update in Airtable again with the new blog content. So now, assuming you're happy with everything that you have, let's say you'll prove it to approved. Now I'm going to go into the stage just because it's easier to understand and to see what it is that we're doing. Once you have your approved blogs, the next thing that's going to happen is let's say you're gonna give it a date. Let's say we wanna publish it. Let's, let's publish it, let's publish it tomorrow. That's the show. Now, the automation that's going on right now is just whenever a, a blog has been not only approved, but also has been given a date, we're then changing it to scheduled. That's pretty straightforward. Configure the table to blog example in this case. If the status is approved and the publishing date is not empty, that means whatever the publishing date is, if there is one, I want you to update that, that record to schedule. Once a 
blog has been scheduled and the date, if you'll remember. Is either today or before today. That is then being imported into a to be published table. And as I mentioned, the publishing date is either today, before today, and the status is scheduled. Now, what happens then is an automation is triggered again. This one, this time, is the publish automation. As it says here, it just says any view or any record that goes into this view, I want you to run the script, which is the one I showed earlier. And what that's doing is that's triggering our second automation. And this is our automation. It might seem very familiar to the previous one. And that's because it is. It does follow the same overall structure where you are simply catching a webhook. You are then taking the record ID from set a webhook and make sure, and I cannot stress this enough, you need to make sure that the code includes this little main thing with record ID. Otherwise, this will not work. And you're telling it to basically just return the record that contains the record ID. Then mark or sorry, take the block content, which is in markdown form, transfer it or transform it into HTML. And then there's two options. There's either the option of this is a scheduled post, which means just the standard formatting or the standard operating procedure. And what it's doing then is it's creating and you want to create a couple different modules for this but you're going to want to go into the Webflow module and then basically you're going to go ahead and fill out all your information. So post body, make sure that you're using the HTML one, the main image URL, which is right under here, hero image, thumbnails, and this one's going to be main image URL and the thumbnail, you can choose whichever one of these you would like. The SEO summary, the category, as well as the name and blog title. And this one should be under map actually. The slug is all the information taken from Airtable as well. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you can then update a record that says this, that this was published. What happens after? It's actually pretty straightforward. Just update a or create a new module called Facebook Pages. Update that with your page and whatever else you would like to put in there, as well as Instagram. And the last thing that we do is we basically just send an email over to either, in this case, myself or any of our partners, telling them, hey, a new article has been posted. And I think this is actually a good place to mention this, but for this presentation, although this is all automated, I would not suggest completely automated and where you don't even have an idea of what is being posted. While AI is a very good tool and it can increase your output by 10, 50, even 100 times, it's important to at least spend two, three minutes every day reading whatever article is being posted that specific day. Because at the end of the day, your customers, when they're reading these blogs, when they're reading these articles, whether it was written by AI, whether it was written by you, it is still in your name. So it is important to be careful. And what we do for partners is we do not immediately publish them. They receive a slight notification saying, hey, there is a new article. Do you approve it? And then it continues. And while it is creating a bit more friction, it is much better than just having a bunch of random articles, which can sometimes be wrong. Not only it's not because the information might be wrong, but just because of the nuances of different companies and how they work. Just thought I'd put that in there to whoever is building this as it can be a trap and I do not want you to fall into it. The other option for going back to our make automation, it's the web flow or the update part of it. And just, just says, Hey, if this is, in the status of update, there you go. This one right here. What I want you to do is just update the webflow with whatever information you just gave it, and then update the air right the air table record with said information as well. And we are almost done, and we've actually finished the majority of the work as far as Nick is concerned, which is where we generate the images, we created the blog content, made the titles, etc. Now, we do need somewhere to where we can put this information, however. For example, I meant, as I mentioned, we are using Webflow. And Webflow is a it's very, I think most website designers do actually. But it's a collection of items where if you're writing blogs consistently, you don't want to have to redesign a new web page every single time. So for this example, we're simply using a CMS collection. And you're going to want to go ahead and create your own. We just create a bunch of examples right here. Let's say... Let we choose this one. 
you're just going to simply go ahead and create a new uh, collection and then fill out the information as in you took that you took from Airtable and just fill out the fields as they're being asked and you go ahead and basically created your blog article and that's going to be a template that's going to be used for every single new upload that's ever that's made if you want to go ahead and design this article page you can go in the design section go to articles template this you can now go ahead and basically play with it as much as you'd like you can make this maybe vertical if you prefer that you can go ahead and display it vertically if you prefer you can put it in a grid manner you can change the background colors you want it white for example or red it's really up to you but the cool thing about this or probably the most powerful part of this it's whatever you whatever changes you make here will be displayed across every single article that you make and this is really i mean i know this is not the prettiest page ever it's really just for demonstration purposes and we are basically done i know that was probably one of the longer videos but i generally do think that this technology is really amazing and that is only going to get better from here i hope that was beneficial if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments below we'll try to get back to them as soon as possible if you have any improvements or any suggestions you love to make please leave them we love seeing them i think even the last video we had a couple about the calendar ones and we will be making an updated version of that but in the meantime thank you very much for watching if you have any questions or if you want to work with us on anything related to ai in your contracting businesses feel free to let us know and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.